I am Miguel Centeno. I'm a professor of sociology at Princeton University, and I'm also the vice dean of the Woodrow Wilson School at Princeton. I think we are trapped in a system that prizes certain skills and rewards certain skills disproportionately. And we're no longer, or if we ever have been as, as a species, in a system where simply by being human, you get enough. Uh, and that's become worse and worse and worse. It's, uh, there's an equality that's being driven by globalization. There's an inequality that's being driven by technology. And there's frankly also an inequality that is being driven by control of violence. We, we, we take these numbers, for example, GDP growth. We take these numbers to be a perfect reflection of reality. Nothing is a perfect reflection of reality. They are a lens through which to look at reality. So the GDP measures one form, one form of wealth, and that's wealth creation. Um, it's, an artif it's a completely artificial figure. I believe the richest per capita country in Africa, I believe, is Equatorial Guinea. Uh, I don't think anyone in the world would want to be Equatorial Guinean. Um, so these GDP numbers are false. They are merely counting the one thing that can be counted, but they're not counting any form some life satisfaction or life chances or anything like that. They're just counting uh, how, many, how many gold coins one has in a vault. Globalization is a little bit like gravity. It depends where you are. Uh, if you're on the ground, gravity is a wonderful thing. If you're on top of a tree, gravity is not such a wonderful thing. Um, globalization is effective, for example, for the Pacific Rim, globalization has been, it's created a middle class in societies that were very poor. Uh, I, I, my, my daughter is adopted, she's from Korea, so I've been to Seoul many, many times. And you look at Seoul in 1960, and it was, it was uh, very, very poor. Now you go to Seoul, and it's richer than many parts of, of, of Europe. Uh, the same thing can be said of, you know, all along the Pacific Rim. The same thing can be said to a certain extent, much more limited, in India. Uh, on the other hand, um, for the working class in the developed world, it's been a disaster. For the working class, for example, I work mostly in Latin America, and for the, let's say, the 70th to 90th percentile of the population, globalization has been a disaster because it's done away with protections that they had and put everyone at the mercy of the market. So it really depends if you want, you know, if you're in my class, uh, globalization is great because I can fly to Cairo on a direct flight without any problem. If you happen to be a dishwasher and globalization uh, results in you losing unionization, no, it's not so good.